Hey what's up everyone, welcome to FX Maniac, this is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri again and welcome to the part 2 of the Maya XGen basics tutorial. So in the, in the last tutorial I've shown you guys the basics of XGen and stuff but in this one I'll, I'll show you guys exactly how to do this image which is on the thumbnail or to be exact this one. So uh, it's, it looks pretty cool, it's like an abstract effect. So everybody's like, you know, creating realistic hair with XGen and stuff, that is all fine, you can do it. But I wanted to do something out of the ordinary and do something that looks abstract and cool at the same time. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. So it's going to be a very quick tutorial because if you don't know the basics, you can just go ahead and watch this first and then come back to this tutorial. Alright, so uh, I have the scroll model, I've just downloaded it from this website called Free3D, it is free. I am going to put the link in the description so that you can go ahead and download it. I'm going to come back here and I'm just going to, first I'm going I'm to show you guys how to set up the lighting and set this really cool diffuse background, which I've actually used a very cool technique to do it. Alright, so first thing, I'm going to go into uh, Arnold Lights and add a light here. And, uh, and if you don't have Arnold, make sure it is loaded up from your plugins, plugin manager and make sure M2A is loaded and then close. Alright, so I'm just gonna rotate it this way. So hit E and hold down J when you rotate it so that it snaps like every 15 degrees and just uh, you know move it back. Control D, make a copy and just flip it over to this side. Rotate it, hold down J and that's it for now. So the thing we want to do is, if I select this light, if I just preview this right now, we, the light is not bright enough, so if I go into Arnold and just uh, run the IPR, so it's not bright enough, so what I can do is I can go into the attribute editor and just increase the exposure to maybe like 7, and the backlight as well, so 10 and 7. So here we have it, but the thing we want to do is we want to turn on the volumetric lighting for Arnold in order to create this uh, really cool diffuse background. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to into the render settings, Arnold, and environment, and I'm going to add an AI standard atmosphere volume. And just click here and increase the density. Alright, but the problem is here, both of our lights are actually casting volumetric lighting, which we don't want. We only want this background light to cast volume. So what I can do is just select this light that is in the front, and I'm going to go into the visibility, and there's a volume uh, value, which I'm just going to turn it to zero. So now we only have that effect in our background, and it looks pretty cool. So I'm just going to select that light, and uh, make sure that it is the color I've just used uh, kind of like this color maybe a little brighter and desaturate it and I'm gonna select the front light as well and make sure that it has kind of like the same color so just select it and go there maybe that much I may increase the exposure and I need to copy these uh, this light to all the areas. So I'm just gonna hold down shift and copy or maybe I I may need to turn off the Arnold preview because it's just getting a little too heavy on the system so I'm just gonna rotate it to this side move it control D again move it to this side just like that and I may even copy one more and rotate it to the top alright so we have basically light from every angle hitting the character. All right, so it, it basically looks a bit cooler. And the, for the material, I'm just gonna uh, select it, hold down, right click, and just go into the favorite material or go to new material if you don't have it, shader, AI standard surface. And I'm gonna change the color to be like that same color, but a bit less saturated. And I think it's a little too reflective. So what I'm going to do is go into Material Attributes and increase the roughness so it's not that much of a reflective. And we want to turn down the specular weight and the color. 
you know you can you can play around and get the results that you want but I'm just gonna you know kind of like that I think it's fine all right so this is our background now on to the exchange setup and in this step I'm gonna go a little bit faster because we've already done the basics and I don't want this tutorial to be too long as well so let's get started so first off I'm gonna make a selection off of in the areas that I want the hair to be so I'm just gonna select right click face and then get the uh, lasso or the brush selection and in order to increase the size you're gonna hit press B and lift click and drag to the right and left so you can go ahead and select all the areas that you want go around increase the size and I basically want to not those areas so just like that you know and probably just like that you know uh, if if you're not doing like a, you know rotating shot because we're only going to be rendering from the front you don't really need to select the back faces but in just in case you do all right so I'm just gonna now uh, press B and drag it to the left so that the size is a little smaller and I'm just gonna go and paint over the areas of the mustache just like that and the beard of course so I just wanna paint it increase the size paint those areas and the reason we're doing this is later we won't have to worry about you know having hair in the areas that we don't necessarily want to have hair alright so just uh, go and select it and I think that's it alright so now I'm going to go into Xgen make sure your interface is set to Xgen or workspace create new description we've already done this I'm going to call this abstract, but make sure it is placing and shaping guides. So create. So now it seems to be, you know, nothing has happened, but it did. So I'm just going to go ahead and start creating guides. So we'll add the create new um, add or move guides. So just, you know, click and you can start placing the guides. So I'm just going to speed up the video and place these guides. All right, so we are done with creating the hair guides, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be shaping these guides because uh, obviously now they don't look too good. So I'm just going to select the bottom guides and scale them up a little bit. And I can go and, you know, select one by one, go to control points and move them down. But I prefer using a very simple method, uh, which is the, uh, you know, sculpt guide. So I'm just going to go and uh, sculpt them. You know, make sure that they are facing in the right direction. These are mustache guides, so make sure that they're facing downwards, just like that. So, again, I'm going to speed up the video and do this, and I'll be back when it is finished. All right, um, for some reason I had to redo the thing because as you know, Xgen sometimes gives errors, so I just redone the whole thing. And it doesn't seem to be showing the uh, hair, uh, I mean the hair uh, geometry or whatever inside the viewport. So I'm just gonna go into the Arnold viewer and let's see here. So you can see now they're looking pretty cool. I can increase the density, so I'm just gonna increase that. And now you can see we have all this hair and uh of course it's not it's not what we want but we we will tweak it so uh let's see here uh first off i'm just gonna uh decrease the i mean increase the taper so that it thins out on the tip and of course decrease the width to a lot so maybe like 0.02 
and now we can increase the density a lot more so that we get a uh, very dense looking hair and the other thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to increase the length to 2 in this case and I'm going to set the modifier CV count to make it more smoother so I'll set it to 15 we've already covered it in the previous tutorial but the thing that we want to do right now is I'm going to go into modifiers and I'm going to add a clumping so I'm going to hit OK. I think already it's looking pretty cool. It's like a broom, <laughs> especially down the mustache area. It's looking like a broom mustache, which is really funny and cool. But uh, yeah, I'm going to add a clumping modifier. Hit OK. And basically go uh, just here it is. So, you know, it, it looks kind of fancy, I would say. But we don't want that much clumping. So I'm going to turn it down to like 0.5. And the other thing I'm going to do is we can we have the the other thing that I m forgot to mention in the previous tutorial is we have this curl effect. So if you go and increase this, the hair is going to go curly. So it's going to make it more like curly. So you can go ahead and increase that. You know, and you're going to get these curls on the hair, which are really nice. I mean, isn't this cool? It looks pretty pretty cool. I would say so yeah and uh, I mean this is looking really nice so uh, yeah if you want you can you can go ahead and increase it or decrease it as much as you want and uh, we can add a noise modifier or anything else but the thing that uh, you know made this one look kind of random was I did the uh, I did adjust the, uh, if you go into the primitives, the tilt N, so it's going to make it go wild and all in all sort of directions. So you can see that it went like crazy, and you can see this part is really looking amazing. I mean, you can play around with this and get some really cool results, so uh, yeah. You can go the other way around, so that it turns that way, like this. You know, you can you can be creative and do some some fun stuff. So I think th this was the, the the most important value that I played with. So it, it kind of tilts it around, uh, you know, and rotates it and gives you uh, with a combination of the uh, clumping modifier. And you can even increase the length to three, which will allow you to get a lot more of a cool result so you can go ahead zoom out a little bit so you can see it and uh, yeah and to change the color on each side I've just you know I went to the the lights and I've just changed the color to maybe like a bluish color just like that and increase the exposure maybe not that much and maybe the light on this side which is going to be this one I'm just going to change the color to be like maybe a red or something to make it like really stylized all right or maybe even green I think that looks pretty cool so yeah you can go ahead and set it up as you want and uh, you know I've, I've mentioned all the basic parameters and I know I went pretty fast on this, but I've, I've, I've mentioned it all in the previous tutorial. So here it is, the X in basics. You, you can go ahead and check that out. But for this tutorial, I think this is it. And I think it's looking really nice. You know, the hair. I mean, I wish I had this kind of hair. <laughs> it's looking pretty stylized, all right? So you can go ahead into the render settings. You can take out a frame, an HD frame, increase the... Uh, camera AA and diffuse to 4 and 3 and you can go ahead and render this out and uh, you know upload it somewhere it's looking pretty cool alright so this was the today's tutorial and I hope you learned something from it and uh, again I, I will put the link of this uh, skull model in the description so you can go ahead and download it and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I hope you have found it useful and if you have any questions make sure to put it down in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe to my main channel, Effects Maniac, and our music channel, Audio Aura.
and uh, if you haven't checked out my Instagram page make sure to follow me there as well alright so this was the today's tutorial until the next one enjoy working